So two of the products that I use with patients to help with cravings, cravings for alcohol, cravings for food, and hunger are, are Crave Control and NeuroBoost. And they're a little bit different. Uh, Crave Control has 5-hydroxytryptophan in it, which is the precursor to make serotonin in the brain. And serotonin is very important um, for cravings that sometimes you have trouble stopping. So if you have a thought and the thought can become a compulsion or you start eating something and you find it difficult to stop, that's where boosting serotonin can help. Uh, the other amino acid in the Crave Control is L-tyrosine. And L-tyrosine is the precursor to make dopamine. Dopamine is the precursor to make norepinephrine and then epinephrine. And those neurotransmitters also play a huge role in satiety and hunger and impulse control. So if you have a thought about a craving and you have trouble thinking through what will happen if you give in to that craving, trouble with your impulse, then the dopamine support can help with that. Uh, Crave Control also has vitamin B6 in the form of pyridoxal 5-phosphate, which is the active form of B6, and vitamin C. Those are necessary cofactors to be able to make the neurotransmitters in the brain. The other product I use is called NeuroBoost, and NeuroBoost is about twice as potent as Crave Control, so it has more 5-HTP and more L-tyrosine in it, also has the cofactors in it, including methyl tetrahydrofolate to make those neurotransmitters in the brain. So some of the things a person might experience if they need the, that type of neurotransmitter support is uh, cravings for food or alcohol, um, low mood, especially if the mood improves when giving in to the food or alcohol. That's kind of an indication that there's some self-medicating going on using those substances and perhaps neurotransmitter support can be helpful.